Are you an artist who loves art and really wants to draw, but you just don't? Are you petrified of putting your pen to paper or don't think you have the time? I'm guessing because you're here, you're a creative like me. And that you wish to automatically just create every day to build up your skills effortlessly. I'm Zach from Too Many Hobbies and I'm an artist. I have created at least one drawing every single day for the last month. I have almost filled an entire 76 page sketchbook I got like <laughs> two and a half weeks ago. <laughs> I am addicted to drawing. It is what I do whenever I have free time almost automatically. Today I will show you how I am putting in the mileage to improve my art at rapid speeds without barely any effort. First of all, why is it so damn important to draw a bunch? Well, there's a plethora of reasons to do so, such as getting good, building discipline and productivity, improving your mental health, and flexing your creative muscles. If you draw like every day for like 10 minutes for an entire year, you are bound to improve in art. For me, it is paramount that I approve, improve. I feel like I have been stagnant for ages, and since the start of this year, I have improved more than I have improved in the past like 4 odd years combined. This is because I have had way more practice, I cared way more, and I actively strived to improve. Art is fantastic at lowering your stress, giving you way more mental clarity, building your focus, and so much more if you have the correct relationship with art. Art is part of my identity, and it is something that I have done since I was a very tiny human. It allows me to hone my craft, it, fulf it fulfills my need of creating, it consolidates my identity, it helps me process things, and plenty more that, that I would have no clue about. What else are you going to do in your free time? I would usually go play video games, eat, talk to my friends, and generally not get a lot of long-term benefits from it. But recently, I have been sacrificing, or at least limiting the things that have kept me stagnant and terrified of change in my life. You, you do not have to go as far as I have, playing video games only once or twice a week. Although I definitely recommend it, but you need time. And I know how these activities work. Video games take all the time you got. Oh, my friend is on for like a couple of hours. I'll also be on for a couple of hours. And we end up spending the entire damn day, maybe except lunch and dinner, just playing games getting fuck fucking, fucking nothing done and the next thing I know I have spent the last three months playing a game that I just got bored of and got nothing from it it's a loop it's a vicious cycle and I have broken out of that recently but you don't need to fully eliminate it, although I do recommend. You need to block out some time or have some activity that or have some like oh I'm going to work, oh I'm like it's my break time, oh it's this, it's that. You just gotta have some time that you dedicate to drawing. And later, with at least how my brain works. Once I started drawing every day, I couldn't stop. I would literally like, when I'm on the train, I'm drawing. When I wake up in the morning, I have breakfast and I feel like drawing. I feel like drawing at every moment of the day and I've got to stop drawing so I can get other stuff done like this video. <laughs> I literally spent like an hour and a half recording the, uh, process of me drawing because that's just the first thing I wanted to do this morning. I'm assuming 
that you are watching currently the drawing of this weird demon skull red spiky hedgehog demon <laughs> anyway that's my cr current crisis let me tell you how to draw every day so you don't have to live with the same guilt you may feel now you would not believe this but to start drawing every day you need a pencil and paper <laughs> it's revolutionary uh, but genuinely I would suggest going to get a couple of A5 sketchbooks these small little sketchbooks with as many pages as possible that are relatively cheap and the basic drawing utensils stuff like a pencil, paper, uh, erasers, sharpeners whatever else which most artists would have personally I prefer to use a mechanical pencil because it's so easy to use anywhere and I like to use a kneadable eraser which isn't very mobile but I am as I am so damn scared to get it dirty but it's just so good but pencil, eraser and a butt ton of paper that you can take anywhere that is the bare minimum and that is what I use every single day anywhere I go welcome to the following day this is how to start drawing every single day you must always have your drawing stuff within sight I have it on my desk majority of the time when I go somewhere I put it in my bag and having it with me always allows me to pick it up whenever I am bored or have an idea you can block out time or have multiple sessions of your day to potentially draw these would be breaks in your day or set it after something that you do every day like you have coffee and then you draw or you're like on the train or something like that don't draw more than two hours a day in your first week or two once it becomes second nature to draw every day then you can spend longer sprints so that you don't burn yourself out right away create a checklist for each week tick it off whenever you have done your drawing for that day this could be on your phone with pen and paper this will make you feel a sense of accomplishment and allow you to track your progress and your time a lot easier sometimes draw a bunch with the same thing in different ways there is an infinite number of ways to draw anything and all of them have a unique feel style and all today I have filled two s oh, Last time, I had filled two pages of astronauts, some big, some small. Some had a ra like round visors and some were not. I experimented with body, shape, body types, shapes, styles and moods. I tried heaps of variations and some were cool and others were boring and others will never see the light of day. That's just how it is. Doesn't matter. Every drawing you do is for you and for you alone. How to start drawing because you're always because you always have stuff with you there is a small barrier to entry to actually start drawing this will allow you to draw whenever inspiration comes and reduce the barrier to starting you don't need inspiration before deciding you want to draw we have Pinterest after all in this day and age you can have it on any device or you can just look around look at an object or a person around you and draw them there's so much for you to use as inspiration that you can find something to draw at any moment in time now next you should practice with intention so that you get value out of what you're drawing try it with like a style technique subject matter or try to tie a fundamental that you want to get better at learning to that drawing you can maybe even do this like this week i'm doing arm anatomy or something like that this week I am learning how to shade skin and you'll do sketches and such around those now you need to draw 
in any amount of detail, it doesn't matter, and as many sketches as you want on each page. All that matters is that you draw something. It doesn't have to be super detailed, and if you want to have a, like a bunch of ideas on a page, just fill the page. Just make little ones everywhere, or one really big nice detailed one. Or even sometimes, if you're not really feeling it, one big loose sketch of whatever else, and you might be able to come back later or improve on the idea. Now, to keep drawing, keep everything before but the timeline. If you want to draw for like three or four hours one day, and get a proper piece completed, 100%, go make something dope. If like all limits are off for how much you want to draw, as long as you feel like you can sustain it and as long as you're not burning yourself out drawing like an obscene amount that you cannot handle everyone has different amounts that they can handle drawing each day don't don't push past your threshold and if and the more you do this the bigger your threshold will get to the longer you can do it for now you should also see drawings as something you do plain and simple it is part of you you get your practice in and you build your skills every day it's it's just something you do you go around you draw every day you might get like a little like concept sketch or you might make something really pretty it doesn't matter you just that's just what you do you draw okay let's tell you something I uh you know how it's a different day I I brought two more sketchbooks today I have to admit it I have a problem or maybe a solution depending on how you may see it uh, <laughs> that's the last way to keep drawing to possibly buy something for you to build your commitment if you spend your money on something you will see it as something that depending on your relationship with money if you buy something then you're going to use it at least a little bit and if you actively think, I'm going to try to get my money's worth with a sketchbook, then you're going to keep drawing and drawing and drawing until you finish that sketchbook. And then you're going to be in the same situation as me, where I'm like, I need more sketchbooks. I have literally just gone through, like, what, however many, 70 or odd pages. I'm like, 63 now. I got like, fuck all left. I bought two more sketchbooks. Hopefully they last me two months. Drawing recently has taken my video game time by the neck and it has strangled it and led it to die. I have been drawing, I have been doing so much more, I have been learning so much and I, and that, that's just what we do here at Too Many Hobbies. We obsess over our hobbies, we absolutely love the creation. Alright, I'll, I'll let you get back to drawing. I don't want to hold you off for too long. And I hope that is what you do after this. Have a... Have an unprecedented day. <laughs> oh, I hope that was good. First video. Oh, fuck. <laughs>